Wars, something that you may not know about him is he actually has another little side hustle. He's a tattoo artist. I started tattooing maybe seven years ago. I was just watching a tattoo TV show and I figured that might be something that I might not get bored of. I love psychology and tattooing is like the best psychology class that you can have. You're sitting down with somebody for hours at a time. You get to know why they're the way they are. I actually tattooed a guy from five in the afternoon. We got done at three in the afternoon the next day. So it was a 22 hour session and it's crazy. We, we, we held like a 20 hour conversation. I don't exactly know how we talked about, but yeah, we, it's, it's one of the best experiences that I had. Had some very nice things to say about the rest of the field. Let's take a listen. They're all good players. Like, you don't know what they're gonna do because we all think differently, so we all do things differently. Like, I kinda have an idea of what each player will be, will try to do in the tournament, so I kinda like try to counter everyone, but I can't, so it's mostly take the monsters that they have. <laughs> it was not to be at a disadvantage, and obviously he's come a long way since then. And before the tournament began, we sat down with YDCB, who shared some of his excitement about this event. <laughs> I was really excited to, uh, to play in this tournament. When I saw the email, I was like, finally, this is happening, because this was something that I, you know, I talked about in my videos way before there was even this mode of PvP, RTA, which we're doing in this tournament. I was like, there's going to be a tournament one day, it's going to be a lot of people there and stuff's going to be happening on the screen and it's going to be intense, it's going to be close and the crowd's going to go crazy when there's uh, you know, some violent procs here and there, uh, you know, some RNG swinging here and there. it's going to be so exciting. This is something that I pictured years ago and I'm really happy that it's coming to, you know, it's coming to reality and uh, I hope this event goes really well. Gamer, he actually plays guitar. Outside of streaming and gaming, uh, I love playing guitar. I made some songs for uh, streaming, a parody. My voice is terrible, but it's, it's cool, it's fun. And uh, I love it. Before the tournament. The most rewarding thing about broadcasting on Twitch is being able to do something that you love and having a community that supports you. This is something I wanted to ask you guys. Is 79% accuracy too much? So tell me, use the comments, please. They sincerely want to just be your friend. They want to get to know you. They want to know everything about you. They want to be able to play games with you. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. I can't even look. Who to steal Mars? That's what I'm talking about. And if I know that, you know, I'm making someone smile or, you know, making them, someone feel better if they're having a bad day. I mean, for me, uh, it doesn't really get much better than that. To come to the U.S. Yeah, and Zerubit's actually a player that I've... Uh... I always wanted to, to come to the United States since I was a, just a little kid. Now my dreams are becoming true. I'm doing what I like to do, and I really enjoy it. What he's doing when he's not playing summoners? I enjoy doing things outside, especially because I live in Hawaii. Uh, that being said, uh, I really enjoy spearfishing and fishing. Uh, spearfishing, I love going out into the ocean. I just feel like I'm in a totally different place. And I feel sometimes that's, that's the same thing with games. You know, you try to get yourself into an area where you're just, you can just let go of reality for just a little bit. Being able to dive down, hold your breath, take a shot, catch a fish, bring it home, be able to cook it for your family. I think that's just, that's just awesome. Over to Shredded Puzzle, though, who chatted with us before the event as well. Yeah, it would mean a lot to me if I was able to win this tournament just because I want to do it for my guild, I want to do it for my fans, my community, and of course I want to do it for myself as well to prove that I am actually a pretty good competitor in this tournament, which maybe some people don't think I am right now going into it, but I want to prove the people who think that way wrong. His very first mobile game. But it was my first actual mobile game, and I didn't realize that mobile games have, uh, you know, gone to this level where the graphics are really nice for something, you know, on, on, a, on a tablet. And uh, it was a lot of strategy involved, which, uh, which was, I was very drawn to it. See some good, good matches. There's a look at Shredded Puzzle. We talked about him being 
one of those thoughtful types of players, so we talked to him about some of that approach and that research on his opponents. I know the field of players pretty well of everyone who was invited to this tournament, and I feel like all of them are very competitive players, and it will be a pretty tough match for all of us going into it. Um, there may be some which are stronger than others for sure, however, I do feel that everyone has a pretty equal chance of getting it to the top spot, which is going to make it interesting. That's her. Prolific Twitch caster who talked a little bit about the work he's done out in the cast community for Summoner's War. Streaming on Twitch uh, or being a content creator is not easy. It's not without its challenges. You might have people that say, oh, he just plays video games for a living, but it's, it has its challenges. And when you're, when you're with a team, you, everyone just looks out for each other. We, we grow together, we get sponsors together, and so it just helps make this actually possible so that we can do this and have like a career. And listen, being